When we learn about isotopes, often teachers will start with hydrogen. But that can be a bit confusing since hydrogen has some special characteristics not shared by other isotopes. So if you recall, isotopes, the big idea is we're talking about neutrons here, a difference in neutrons. And the definition of isotopes is that they're really versions of a particular element, but they have different neutrons. So it's all about the neutrons. Let's look at carbon to understand this a little bit better. And then we'll look at the isotopes of hydrogen. So when we look at carbon, we have three different atoms. These atoms are different versions of carbon. When we look at the periodic table, we see that the element carbon has six protons. This is the atomic number. It tells you the number of protons. So the periodic table of the elements that has elements like carbon, and these elements can have different atoms, different isotopes with different number of neutrons. So all of them have six protons because of the atomic number. That's what makes it carbon. But they have different number of neutrons. We add the protons and the neutrons together to get the mass number. And that's how we name isotopes. Carbon-12, carbon-13, and carbon-14. So back to hydrogen. There are three primary isotopes of hydrogen called protium, deuterium, and tritium. And that's really the first thing that's different about hydrogen. It has its own special names. No other elements have special names. We know that it's hydrogen because hydrogen has an atomic number of one, and each of these has one proton in it. One proton, that means it's hydrogen. So these are all hydrogen. They're just isotopes because they have different numbers of neutrons. So if we wrote the notation, we would call this hydrogen one, which you could write H1. You guessed it, hydrogen two, and then hydrogen three. So that's hyphen notation. And remember this one here, that's the protons plus neutrons. We only have one proton, so it's one. Here we have a proton and neutron, so one plus one gives us two, and so on. We can also write something called nuclear notation, and that'll look like this. The one here on the bottom, that's the atomic number. So all of them are gonna have one at the bottom because they only have one proton. That's what hydrogen has. On the top, we have the mass number. One proton here, and this is the proton plus the neutron. And here we have two neutrons and a proton, so we have three as our mass number. That brings us to another difference with hydrogen. The isotope protium for hydrogen, which is most of the hydrogen in the universe, it doesn't have any neutrons. So we can have an atom, we can have this isotope here with no neutrons. That's what hydrogen mostly does. There's one final thing that's different about hydrogen. That's because when we add this neutron here, We've gone from a mass number of one to two. We've doubled the mass. That makes a big difference. So hydrogen, the different isotopes, will have differing properties. Not hugely differing, but there'll be something that's noticeable. For instance, deuterium and tritium, those will have higher boiling points than protium. For other isotopes with higher numbers, like chlorine-35 and chlorine-37, having more or less neutrons really doesn't make a big difference in its mass. So in general, most isotopes, other than hydrogen, they have very similar chemical and physical properties. This is Dr. B talking about the isotopes of hydrogen, a very special case for isotopes, and thanks for watching.